one of the reasons why sometimes Torah says Zahor, remember, is in order to take action specifically. Today, the American people should be remembering the day some 24 years ago when the uh, Muslim terrorists, the extreme Islamic terrorists, destroyed the World Trade Center. Thousands of people died, including, by the way, Muslims. But that didn't stop them, of course. They always don't care about anybody except the death cult. And another important thing to remember is the reaction of the world. I remember that at that time, everybody was in shock. America is, as opposed to Israel, that is accustomed to constant terror. This was the first major terror act by Islamists on the American land. Americans treated it as an act of war and started many wars to uh, stop a future act. There is some information that uh, Al-Qaeda and other terrorist organizations probably would have tried again and again to repeat, just like they were saying about October 7th in Israel, that they'll do it again and again. They probably would have tried to do something similar or worse in America as well. They wouldn't have stopped at that one terror act. But the wars that started, even though later the popularity of that war uh, was went down in America quite a bit, uh, in the first four years of the younger Bush, the uh, his presidency was incredibly popular. He, he won uh, the re-election with a great approval, and uh, uh, he uh, even won the popular vote, which wasn't that common for Republicans in the last few elections. Even when the Republicans won, it was usually not through the popular vote. But that time, if I'm correct, it could be that it was the only time in the recent election that the Republicans actually won the popular vote. So whatever the case may be, uh, while the war became more and more unpopular over time, at that time, Americans were very clear. They remembered exactly what happened. So Americans were in shock. Europeans were in shock. Uh, the many various Muslims in various places were celebrating. The, this is something to remember also. Those same people in Gaza, in the West Bank, those same people who celebrate Israeli deaths and uh, give out sweets whenever an Israeli civilian is killed, uh, a child is killed. For them, it's a great uh, cause for celebration. So too, uh, during September 11th, it was a great uh, holiday for them. They were so happy. This is something to remember. Again, that doesn't mean every person in Gaza is at fault. I don't hold that at all. I don't think that every person is at fault. It's a very complex situation, but we have to remember still what, how radicalized these people are. When uh, America today, a lot of times, instead of fighting terror, tries to make peace with terror, Taliban became kind of kashered. This is something to remember, that remembering is not just theoretical. Remembering is practical. We have to fight terror. In those Muslim countries where they try to stop the terror, they live really well. In every Muslim country where they don't fight terror, where they become the terrorists, where they support terror, they're a failed state. There's a failed state in Syria, there's a failed state in Lebanon for a while already. Once they uh, permitted the PLO, uh, when uh, PLO were, 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 people of PLO were being killed in Jordan, uh, it's uh, Lebanon that opened its doors for the PLO members. At that time, Lebanon was a, was a successful state. Some people called it the Singapore of the Middle East. It was a very successful state and became a complete disaster. And the chaos never finished. Until today, Lebanon is a failed state. Iraq is a failed state. Practically everywhere where Iran and its proxies and its uh, constant terror machine, its uh, constant uh, war with everybody, wherever they get in, that's where there is a failed state. All the successful Muslim states are the ones that try to fight terror. All the unsuccessful Muslim states are the ones that where the terror axis of Iran has its hand. This is something to remember. So if somebody wants to help the people of Gaza, the first thing they should help is for Israel to get rid of Hamas. That's the only way there is any future for the people of Gaza, just like during World War II. The only way to help the German people to have a future was to get rid of the Nazis. 
Only then the country could be rebuilt. Only then the children could be re-educated. If right now the world is pushing Israel to stop the war in Gaza and to capitulate to Hamas, what they'll accomplish is that Hamas will only get stronger. It will take a time, of course, after this war. It's not going to happen in, in, in a week, probably not in a month. It may take a few years. But until these ideas are abandoned, until the idea of what they call resistance, and that is terrorism, that's how they call terrorism, resistance, until they abandon that idea, the wars will just continue and they will only be getting worse. So until the world realizes this, until the world is going to remember remember what happened on September 11th, remember what happens when the radical Islam has its way, and remember who we're fighting against. We're not fighting against all the Muslims, we're not fighting against all the people of Gaza, we're not fighting against all the Iranians. Actually, the vast majority of Iranians do not support the policies of its revolutionary guards, so-called, of its, uh, uh, the, its, its head, that is holding everybody else hostage. The people of Iran are fantastic people. It's an ancient, uh, an ancient culture with absolutely unbelievable achievements. What what the Persians gave to the world, the science. The, there's no, no end to talking about what Persians were and how successful this country could be. There's no reason why Iran would not live better than any Western European country. The people that are at least as smart on average. Uh, if you look at math olympiads, for instance, anything, they, they, they definitely have the potential. The problem is the government there wants to promote radical Islam everywhere. And all the resources, it's also an oil-rich land, has a lot of resources, but it's all used to, uh, for destructive force. And those who support it, who think that this way they're helping, the so-called Palestinians, or whoever it may be, the, 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 the people of Lebanon, all of that is, is not going to be helpful. The people of Lebanon will only have a future once the Iranian proxy uh, Hezbollah will be removed from any kind of government or any kind of power there. Uh, Lebanon has a tremendous potential. We know that because, as I said, it used to be an incredibly successful country. Once they let the terrorists in, they had total mess which was never finished until today. And the same will be true about every country where they have this kind of mess. Uh, where there will be radical Islam, there won't be any future. No matter how smart the people are, no, ma much how many, no, no matter how many resources the country has. So we have to remember what terrorism is, how much it affects us, how much it affects the Muslims, how much it affects everybody. The war on terror has to be fought with clear understanding what terror is and what the end of this war has to be. Complete removal of terror organization from any kind of ruling capability, any kind of government capability. And unfortunately, it does take a toll on people, and that's why America got kind of, um, kind of uh, tired uh, from all these wars, the war with Iraq, the war with Afghanistan, but once America's troops are removed, there's a power vacuum, and instead Iranian forces get in, or other kinds of terrorist forces get in. Do you think that uh, after Americans left Afghanistan, so now we're reaping the fruit of all these over 20 years of this war, so the war, some people said, shouldn't have been started, but whatever the case may be, once the Americans had a certain control there, no matter how much it costed, the American people, it was at least stabilizing somewhat the region and at least the people that had a chance. Now that America removed its forces from Afghanistan, what do you think is happening there right now? Do the women have any rights? Just read what, what the Taliban laws are. And this is what happens when every extremist group comes to power, when they see the West as weak, when the West does not remember. Not something that happened thousands of years ago. We remember things that happened even thousands of years ago, but today from America we would expect to remember that something that happened some of, more than 20 years ago, quite recently. Should America remember at least what happened 23 years ago? Today is the day. How many people remember that today is the day? 
by the regular secular calendar, which is what America follows. Today is the September 11th. How many people remember about it? How many people understand what that means and what we should be doing? At any rate, what come, when it comes to the, us, the Jewish people, we of course cannot really change the world. We do, we do what we can, but really what, when it comes to us, we have to remember what Hamas did to us and what will happen if we don't fight Hamas, if we, if we uh, give in, if we uh, basically capitulate to Hamas, what will happen? We have to understand all that. Zachor et asher asali Amalek. 